Hey everyone, Blake Lovell, Southeastern 14, back here with more thoughts on SEC basketball roster moves in the offseason and uh, focusing on one in particular uh, here as we look at Auburn landing Denver Jones from FIU. Uh, the Florida International Guard heads to the Plains to join Bruce Pearl's squad. And um, this to me is exactly what uh, this Auburn team, I think, needs heading into next season. And the reasons, I believe, are obvious. As uh, Denver Jones, uh, you just look at the the scoring numbers for him, averaged 20.1 points per game last season uh, for the Panthers. That was, I think, in the top 25 nationally in terms of individual scoring. Um, also someone that I think can really help improve uh, Auburn scoring from the perimeter. And, of course, you guys know we talked a lot about that this past season uh, and really for the SEC as a whole. Um, looking at teams that really just needed a guy who could knock down shots from outside. Well, Denver Jones made 59 three-pointers last season, shot 37.1% uh, from three. So those are elements that I think can really help uh, the Tigers because as we you – know, you know how Chris and I have talked all season. We said, look, if you're an SEC team, you go out and you just find a couple guys who can knock down shots from outside. And look, 37.1% is not 40, 45, anything like that, but – in the SEC, as we said, a conference has shot around 20, 32% from three this past season, which uh, in conference games, I believe, ranked last nationally among conferences. If you've got a guy that can come out and make shots consistently, that can be very important. And so you've got a high-volume scorer here, and you've also got someone that from three shoots 37%, but from the floor shot about 48%. And so add all those things together, I think he had 17 20-point games this past season. Um, I mean, you... You've got someone that really, for an Auburn team that we talked about, you know, in, in this past season, scoring at times could be could be an issue. And they, they were really built on the strength of their defense. And, um, you know, they could have some of those games where they just went off offensively, but those were not there consistently. And so now when you bring someone like this into the mix, you feel like you've got someone who can go out and kind of make plays every time down the floor uh, on the offensive end and not to say that they didn't have that this past season um, because they did, you know, we, we did talk about what window green could do and, and certainly you could see other guys making plays, but I think you've got someone who can really just kind of take that to another level. Um, just given what we've seen. And I think it's kind of important to remember here coming from FIU where, you know, Jeremy Ballard um, is, I mean, he, they, they play a very, kind of up-tempo type style. They did this past season. Uh, and if you go all the way back to Ballard's first season at FIU, that was 2019. Um, you know, they played at the highest tempo of any team in the country. This past season, they were in the top 45, top 50. Uh, we look at a Kim Palm here and adjust the tempo. But um, so, you know, kind of looking at it from that standpoint, knowing how Auburn wants to play, um, I, I think, you know, when you look at kind of what Bruce Pearl likes to do, and we know, um, you know, it is a team uh, in Auburn that can get up and down the floor and, really going to look at the strength of the guard play and to, you know, see how they can get up and down the floor, push things at times, um, you know, and kind of see what happens. Um, that is, you know, can be something that can be a real big strength here, I think, for Denver Jones joining this team because he's already played, you know, in a system where a team can can get up and down the floor, kind of understands what it wants offensively. Obviously, there are going to be adjustments um, switching teams, but um, I, I do still think you look at him and you look at, you know, Aiden Holloway added to the mix at, at, at the point guard position as a freshman. Um, you got a quite a combination there in terms of scoring uh, when, when you, you know, combine Holloway's ability to shoot the ball. And that's what we said. I mean, that, that's it, right? We talk about Denver Jones who can make shots from outside. You've got Holloway. We know that is a outstanding shooter and, and can really knock down shots. Um, I, I think that that is kind of what you're looking at here for this Auburn team to sort of flip what's happened, um, you know, with some of the scoring issues. And I think that's where you're trying to really kind of make things change on that front heading into next season. Um, because I, I really believe that when you add these two guys to the mix in Holloway and now Denver Jones, and you look at the possibility of them playing off of each other, I don't know that, you know, you're going to have necessarily some of those inconsistency scoring wise. And look, the numbers are what they were, right? Um, Auburn ranked 309th nationally in three-point shooting, 31.5% from three. But I think just adding these two guys to the mix, that in, that immediately helps that number, um, and, and they start to have you know more of a dynamic on offense that they didn't necessarily have this past season. So um, I think that's a, a nice, nice aspect to have 
for this Auburn team. Um, and, you know, again, Jones, someone, he's a, he's a native of Alabama from New Market. Um, and look, I mean, he played in Conference USA, too. Let's not forget that. I mean, <laughs> we talked about Conference USA in the postseason they had. Um, turned out to be quite a run for that conference when you looked at those upper-tier teams in Conference USA, you know, Florida Atlantic, North Texas, UAB, uh, Charlotte won the CBI. You obviously had Middle Tennessee there that was almost a 21 win team. Um, so all those things combined, um, you know, he's played against teams that have proven, you know, this past season. I mean, again, we said they've three 29 plus win teams, Florida Atlantic 135, North Texas 131, UAB 129. And if you kind of look at the splits, um, you know, for, for what Denver Jones did against some of those teams, I mean, you can go down the line here. I'm going to look at it. Um, just kind of pulling it up here, you know, UAB scored 22 points. Um, keep going down the list. Charlotte scored 22 points. And we said, I mean, this guy was scoring at a very high level. North Texas had 19 points. Lord Atlantic at 25. UAB had 29. Uh, North Texas, 24. Lord Atlantic had 12 in that game. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he just a very, you know, a, a potential scoring threat, I think, on the roster, given the skill set that Auburn did not necessarily have last season. And I think having that size aspect to someone that's 6'4", um, that always, always helps in the SEC. Um, we always say it's kind of a league that you certainly look at the size of some of these teams and, um, you know, that that's, that's something that comes into to play too. And that's an important aspect when you are trying to get off shots in the SEC is to have that ability size wise, um, to get more open looks, um, and to sort of, I think, be able to use that to your advantage in this league, knowing defensively what you're going to get and some of the, the great defensive stoppers there are in the SEC, right? We talked about how many there are. You know there are of those in this league, and so I think that's something that you always have to consider when you're when you're seeking out who you need in the transfer portal. Um, you know, having a a high volume score with size that can shoot the three, um, I feel like that checks a lot of what Auburn needed uh, heading into next season. And so I think Bruce Pearl and company have done a great job here landing uh, Denver Jones, who, um, like I said, I think the most exciting part is not just adding Denver Jones; it's the the thought of now playing. Holloway and Jones off of each other and seeing scoring wise how huge that can be uh, for this team just to be able to to have two guys who can make plays for themselves uh, but also have a really good opportunity because of how well they score <laughs> to open up plays for others uh, with the understanding that the defense um, is going to have to make a choice when, when you have again high volume type scores uh, and guys who can score the ball consistently make shots from outside that puts a lot more pressure on the defense and so I think that's exactly what Denver Jones will do by joining this Auburn roster. So there's some thoughts on uh, Denver Jones heading to uh, the Tigers. And uh, we have a lot more thoughts on all the SEC basketball roster moves this offseason. Uh, if you haven't checked out any of our videos thus far, you can find them. I've done multiple already looking at all the moves, whether it's transfers, NBA draft, all this other stuff. You can check it all out here on the channel. So hit that subscribe button. Go back through the archives. Check out uh, all the videos we've done thus far. Uh, and we will continue to have you covered here looking at all the roster movement uh, in SEC basketball this offseason. We've also got SEC football, SEC baseball. It's all on the channel. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And uh, we appreciate your support as always. And we appreciate the support of our sponsor, Bearded Iris. Uh, check out everything to do with Bearded Iris in the description below. Um, click on that link. It'll take you to their homepage and uh, support what they're doing because they support what we're doing. And uh, so do you. And again, we re really appreciate that uh, from you guys. So. Thanks as always for watching and we'll talk to you again here soon at Southeastern 14.